All right, everybody. College football. One final week in the regular season before we get the conference championships. And some divisions, some conferences still need to have their champions, you know, their division winners, their one versus twos. Those need to be clinched. So here we are. Here we are awaiting what in the world's going to happen this week because there are a lot of storylines. Just don't think because most of the conference championships are set that there's not a lot of storylines. And of course, we have one big game this week. And we'll talk about it. Maybe last. I think I'll talk about it last, of course. Yeah. Let's talk about that game last. You all know what I'm about to talk about. Now, usually this weekend would have, you know, this one game be all by itself. But again, Corona Chan has been very fierce this year, and there's a lot that needs to happen this week. So, Conference USA, first off, Marshall just needs to beat Charlotte to get into the Conference USA championship game. I'm not sure what in the world is going on with Conference USA again. They need to just confirm UTSA is going to the Conference USA title game already. I don't know why they haven't done that yet, but whatever. Whatever. But we know for sure that Marshall should win this game to win the division. Not sure if, you know, Florida Atlantic is going to play a game. I'm not sure. I I, I just don't know because, I mean, Conference USA has been impacted so much. It's probably the one conference outside Pac-12 that has been affected so much. Anyway, also on Friday... The Mountain West is doing the one versus two thing this year with the with the tiebreakers and all that stuff with the division percentages and stuff like that based on the number of games played. So Nevada, San Jose State will be in Las Vegas, you know, because of protocols set in by the state of California right now. So that game will be in Las Vegas. Nevada and San Jose State could potentially, you know, they could, one of those teams will have to win so that they could go to the Mountain West Championship game, which hasn't had a confirmation for a time yet. So I don't know what's going on there. Utah, Colorado, Colorado needs to win this game, and they need USC to lose. It doesn't look like the Pac-12 is going to put a, it's going to make a exception. It doesn't doesn't look like it so we won't get a Colorado USC Pac-12 championship but Colorado needs to win this game against Utah and they need USC to lose so that's Friday Um, there's also a couple games on Thursday oh yeah Florida Atlantic is playing Southern Miss so Florida Atlantic needs to win against Southern Miss they need Marshall to lose not sure how tiebreakers and stuff like that work but you know Marshall has a loss now Florida Atlantic only lost to Marshall but yeah, Lord Atlanta needs to win. Marshall needs to lose. For Marshall, they need to just win against Charlotte. We don't even know if Charlotte's going to even play because they've been impacted so much by Corona. Here's the big one. Here's the big thing. Michigan, Ohio State. Michigan impacted so bad by Corona. This could be Harbaugh's last chance. This could be his last game. I'm thinking I'm thinking this could be it for him and Ohio State opens up as like a 30 point 40 point favorite in this game and the most important thing is that Ohio State needs to play this game if they do not unless the Big Ten decides to do like the ACC did and just completely mess things up you know probably need to see Notre Dame take on Wake Forest this week and Clemson take on Florida State. But Florida State's been impacted by Corona, and I, I mean, I just don't get it why they wouldn't let these why they wouldn't let these games happen. And instead, Miami gets the shaft. But that's not important. What is important is Michigan Ohio State. We've already talked about the AC. Michigan Ohio State for Ohio State. They need to play this game. If they don't play this game, Indiana is going to face Northwestern in the Big Ten championship game. And I don't know what in the world the committee will do with a Ohio State team that has only played five games. I've already seen plenty of people talk, hey, Ohio State does not belong in the top four because they haven't played enough games. 
and I am inclined to kind of agree with them a little bit. It's mostly because the Big Ten, is, aside from, you know, a few teams, is not good, and that's really all conferences, to be completely honest. You know, there's just a bunch of mid after, you know, the top four or five teams in the conference, and that's, that's no exception in the Big Ten. Just a lot of mid once you get past Indiana and, and Northwestern and maybe Iowa, just mid all over the place and trash. So, this could be Harbaugh's last chance that he either has to get this team ready against Ohio State or Corona will shut this game down. Bowl games have been shut down too. Um, no LA Bowl this year. We already talked about you know, the Sun Bowl being canceled uh, and other bowls being canceled. But UCF did take a bid to the, Roca, uh, the Boca Raton Bowl today, so there's that. I don't know if that's going to be played, but hey, UCF's got a bowl game. And as far as other teams that need to just take care of business, Northwestern just needs to take care of business against Illinois. Alabama needs to take care of business against Arkansas. And Oklahoma needs to take care of business against West Virginia. So that should be pretty easy for him. Georgia also needs to take care of business against Missouri. But Missouri, Eli Drinkwitz, has that team looking pretty good. So what in the world will Georgia do? Because that Missouri offense can sling it up and down the field. Akron, Buffalo. Buffalo, I think they've clinched the, the MAC East. I think it's going to come down to Western Michigan and Ball State in the West. So there's that. Um, and again, as we move on here, North Carolina, Miami, kind of useless game here. Does not need to be played pretty much. It, it doesn't matter anymore. Thanks to the ACC's protocols. Texas, Kansas also doesn't matter. I don't even know if that game is going to be played. And here's the big thing. I think Tom Herman might be fired. There is a... Well, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I think Texas fans, and myself included, have unrealistic expectations for a coach, you know, may, I mean, just, I mean, we were expected to be in the top 10, top 5 every year, That that's just what a blue blood is supposed to be, and you don't see that, you just don't see it, instead, you get stuck with 3 losses, maybe 4 this year, depending on where Texas goes for the bowl game, if that's even to be played. But, um, yeah. So I don't think Texas-Kansas will mean anything. It doesn't mean anything at all. Purdue-Indiana, only thing that matters to Indiana is if Ohio State doesn't play. If they don't play, Indiana's going to the Big Ten Championship. But they have to beat Purdue, though. They do have to beat Purdue. Um... Wisconsin, Iowa, again, game doesn't really matter, to be completely honest. But but Iowa should be ranked a little bit higher now, thanks to their, you know, thanks to another win, you know, last week in Wisconsin. Probably should be at the top 25 altogether. They, but the committee might rank them very, you know, very lower in the top 25. Washington, Oregon, both these teams lost last week, and both these teams, you know, they, they could potentially, you know, have... Uh, this is Pac-12 North implications right here. And whoever wins this game is going to represent the North, I think. So I'm not sure how tiebreakers and stuff are going to work. Because, I mean, some the Arizona schools have only played like one or two games, so it doesn't matter. And then Oregon State, you know, has a say in things because of their victory gets Oregon. So I don't I don't I don't know. I don't I really don't know. Here's something that's a lot easier though. Cincinnati at Tulsa. And this game is stuck at three PM, unfortunately. It's rather unfortunate this game is stuck right here. But I mean they're gonna get a prime time slot next week opposite the SEC championship game. It the only thing that matters here is who is going to host Tulsa's it's a very tough team. Desmond Ritter and company have to get it together. You know, they haven't played in a while. Tulsa played last week against Navy, played a damn good defensive effort against the flex bone option. 
So I wonder how this game will go. I think I'll catch the end of it, but I won't catch all of it, of course. Meanwhile, late, uh, or rather, yeah, kind of late in the evening. Again, Boise State, also another team in contention for the Mountain West Championship. They just need the win against Wyoming. That's all they need to do. LSU taking on, you know, Florida. Kyle Trask is pretty much the front runner for the Heisman right now. I know Mac Jones is in there as well, and Devontae Smith as well, and Najee Harris as well for Alabama. But Kyle Trask is in front right now. He is in front. He is clearly in front right now. And LSU looks, they look rough, you know. Maybe it was the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it was because LSU got all the talent they needed. Maybe it was because LSU, you know, got the offense that they desired. But they did not look in good spirits right now at the Whittaker National Championship last year. Florida, it should be easy, you know, it's Tony should go all, all over the field on LSU. They should go all over the Tigers. And Coach O is going to have another hissy fit on the sidelines if Kyle Trask throws four touchdowns in this game, I swear. TCU should get a bowl eligibility victory type thing against Louisiana Tech. I know they finished up conference play last week, but TCU should win that game. It's Louisiana Tech. Again, Oklahoma State taking on Baylor. It does not matter anymore. It does not matter at all now. USC, UCLA. Again, USC has to win this game to win the Pac-12 South. You know, and if they don't win this game, Colorado could win it. And, you know, I don't know how the Pac-12s, you know, Makeup games are going to work. I don't know how the Big Ted's makeup games are going to work. I don't think those games should be played. I've been saying it all season long. Uh, we should probably just end the season, you know, right here. You just have the conference championships. Of course, there will be some makeup games, obviously, you know, for actual conference games. But these weird, you know, second place versus second place games, don't, don't even play those. Don't even play those, okay? Meanwhile. Uh, Ole Miss, Lane Kiffin, the fighting Lane Kiffins have to go to Texas A&M. And this was a game that CBS already had set up, so it'll be a night game. And A&M just has to take care of business against Ole Miss. If they don't take care of business, then they lose this game. They're out of the college football playoff picture. They're out. Uh, last, but certainly not least here, before we talk about the one big game, the one true game this week, San Diego State, BYU. BYU, I don't know where they'll be ranked by the committee tomorrow. I'm thinking it'll be somewhere in the 20s. But yet, yeah, one final performance for the Cougs, and I don't know where they'll end up for the bowl game if that happens, of course. But yeah, should be interesting to see what BYU can do in this game so now that we got that out of the way we got all the college football you know the the, 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 the playoff stuff and the divisions and, and, and the conference championship stuff out of the way let's talk the army navy game boys and girls and this time it's going to be in west point thanks to corona you know this game is supposed to be in philadelphia i think this year as it usually is but it is not. Army's having a good season this year. Navy is not. And this is going to be, of course, you know, it's going to be one hell of a game. It's always one hell of a game. And there will, I think there will be fans in attendance in West Point. Not sure. But, hey. The Army-Navy game is intense. It's going to be, it's going to be a great way to end the season for both these teams. I know Army is playing Air Force next week. And then the Independence Bowl the week after that. And of course, we do, but Army getting the Independence Bowl all the way back in October. So Navy, they they, they beat Army this year. It'll be another victory for them. And if Army wins this game, I think you know it'll be it'll be another good victory for uh, the Cadets. So yeah, there's that's pretty much it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Click the little notification bell. 
Hopefully we get through this week unscathed. We're probably not, though. See ya, everybody.